the Congress ought to look at it, and I would hope a justice, the future Justice Department ought to, would look at it. You've seen uh, uh, some of the Democratic presidential candidates say that they would expect their attorney general to look at that OLC opinion and potentially issue a new one. Because, uh, I, you know, I think it's one thing to, to, to have an OLC opinion like that that basically puts the president above criminal law. But when you pair that with a Justice Department that seems to be unwilling to tell Congress what it finds at the end of its investigations, then you have this this system where the president is, is you know, ultimately above the law, where he can you know, not be investigated and charged by the Justice Department, but where the Southern District of New York can end an investigation in, into to his conduct, as it did earlier this week. Uh, and the Justice Department won't say how that ended. They won't say whether the Attorney General was involved in the decision, and they won't get, answer any questions to Congress. So I think they're going to have to look at, you know, the, the next Attorney General is going to have to look at either one, withdrawing that memo, putting something stronger, and putting something different in place, or two, making it very clear that if DOJ is going to have this no indictment policy, they're going to cooperate 100% with Congress at the end of any criminal investigations they conduct into a sitting president. Yeah, and what about, I mean, his staff, I mean, Hope Hicks, you know, may have lied to Congress. What even might happen to her because William Barr is running the Justice Department, which is essentially Donald Trump's defense agency. Right, that's true, and there's also the prospect that she could be pardoned by the president if right. she were charged now. So I think Representative Nadler is running a very smart strategy here by re-subpoenaing her, or at least asking her to come back in and testify. She'll either have to double down and repeat the lies, in which case she could be prosecuted, she could be indicted as late as July of 2024, that's how okay, long that's it would long. be before the statute run. Or maybe there's some chance that looking at the many years of life she has ahead of her and this president's diminishing term in office, maybe she'll decide it's time to tell the truth. What would you want to ask Mueller? Oh, you know, I think the most important thing for the Democrats is to make sure that they let Mueller tell the story of his conclusions because the information in the report is so damaging. It got lost in 